Recognition of the Adenosov Berry Computer, or ABC, as the first electronic computer was officially decided in a 1973 court case, Honeywell versus Sperry Rand. During the trial, there was doubt raised as to whether or not the ABC had really functioned. Unfortunately, the original device no longer existed. Adenosov had left Iowa State in 1942 to serve the war effort, and in his absence, the ABC had been disassembled for spare parts, as well as to make room in the Iowa State Physics Building basement. Had the ABC been built a few inches thinner, it may have fit through the door and might have been moved rather than dismantled. To prove that the ABC did in fact work, a team of researchers, engineers, faculty members, retired faculty, and students from Iowa State would attempt an obsessively accurate reconstruction of the original machine. Believing at first that the task would be easier than the original build, the team would eventually spend $350,000 and give four years to the project. Using original photographs, some of Adenosov's original notes, and the memories of some faculty who actually worked on the original machine, pains were taken to ensure authenticity. Parts prevalent in 1939 were hard to find today. An Army-Navy warehouse in California supplied 1940s vacuum tubes. Only one change from the original design was allowed. The replica is only 33 inches deep, while the original was 36 inches deep, allowing the rebuilt ABC to finally fit through a door. The ABC replica was officially unveiled to the public on October 8, 1997 where it was demonstrated publicly that the ABC replica, and therefore the original ABC computer, did, in fact, compute.